Toy Room. We're going to unbox from McFarlane Toys in her Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here comes Nightwolf. Welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room Come From My Room Tours. And today we're going to take a look at McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here comes Night Wolf. You can see Night Wolf kicking back behind his window of pain locked in his plastic prison as he has finally made it here to Moe's Toy Room. He tends to bring his bow and arrows. He brings three arrows that are connected together, the bow, and also he brings two battle axes. He also brings a stand enclosed with this beautiful figure right here. This is for ages 14 and up. 22 points of articulation. Nightwolf written right on the bottom of that. Let's turn this to the side right here. You can see more of the side box right there. If you angle it right here, you could kind of see the Mortal Kombat logo with that dragon inside of there. And then you look at the back right here. And here's the funny part. McFarlane, what's going on, man? I mean, I was expecting a beautiful picture of Nightwolf in action figure form. And we get Scorpion. And you did this before. I believe it is on the Commando Spawn figure. You did the same thing. I don't know if they are trying to do a lot of reuse or whatever through patterns or whatever it is to keep the cost down. But I would have preferred a beautiful picture of Nightwolf, especially being his debut figure here for the McFarlane toy line of Mortal Kombat characters. You can see the side right there. More, yeah, Scorpion written all over this thing. I know Scorpion's a badass and all, but I mean, come on, give us some Nightwolf. All right, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to save some time, take them out of the package, and be right back and review them. <laughs> All right, folks, tail of the tape. Nightwolf is checking in at around seven and a quarter inches tall from bottom of foot to top of head. You turn that around, and this babe, this beauty comes out to around 18 and a half centimeters. You can see Nightwolf right here. This figure is very impressive. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, but we got to show you what he brings first. We're going to kick it off with his two battle axes that he would use in the game Mortal Kombat 11. So uh, for all you Mortal Kombat players, I, sh I am for sure that you really do appreciate the fact that McFarlane is doing some stuff like this um, for us. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. Um, I think everybody knows that. I, I game with this thing just about almost every other day. And I absolutely love uh, Mortal Kombat. So you can see his battle axes there. They got a lot. It's just nice. Really nice. And then you can see he brings his bow. See that material right there. Really nice material. And then he would bring three of his bow and arrows. So you can see that right there. That's pretty cool. All right. So right here, it is about Nightwolf. You could see him. You could see the detail amongst this figure. This, to me, I'm going to say it. For Action Figure of the Year 2022 so far, this one right here is my favorite uh, Mortal Kombat figure I got that I have unboxed. This figure just is amazing. I've had it for a little over a week already. You guys know that I have been tied up uh, through other ventures that I have going on right now. Um, but this figure is really nice and I couldn't wait to get this video out to you. So you can see it right here. You can see the way that his face looks amongst his headdress, the way that that looks, the way that his hair just looks, everything all the way through his skin color, his skin texture, his nice um, 
night wolf attire that he would wear on his arm. You could see that his his arm gauntlets and everything that he has. This figure is just really nice. So I'm giving it a turn. He has some feathers right here. You can see the back right here. This is all loose. So it really is pretty cool because I'm, I'm thinking that you could probably even shove some arrows in there if you really wanted to. That's how nice this figure is. Yeah, all the way through the way that I think these are about the only joints that you could really see on this figure. And McFarlane even hid the uh, ankle little ball joints right there, the ball joint hinges, whatever you want to call them. All right, folks, so let me give you an up close of his face. Yeah, the, the coloring on this is just amazing. This figure's nice. Yeah, really nice. So it's review time. Head goes down. Really nice. Looks up somewhat decent because he has his hair and everything in the back. Hits that Michael Myers pretty damn good. Side to side. Pardon my big fingers if they're in the way. Um, head will spin all the way around. Arms do go up and hit 90 easily so you can see that tends to have that uh cup joint that's inside of the shoulder right there it allows these shoulders these arms to go forward and back up and down you can't see it really because mcfarlane has hit it this figure has a lot of hide it stuff on it and this is like a good material too like you're not going to get poked or hurt on it very soft molded plastic okay and then you can see double jointed elbows on this figure same as the other arm has bicep swivel super nice and arms will go up and around around there see that you can get them to go up and around but you really got to watch it with this area right here Okay, and then hands. Yeah, you got to find that joint in there to get that hand. And they will move super nice. You can see the glove work on that hand. Look at how nice that looks. This is all loose. It's just a piece that is added to them. I'm not sure if it could come apart through the back right there. But they put that on and that's really nice. It's not molded onto them at, at all. Over here on this glove right here. Look at how that looks. This is separate from the glove. So that looks really nice. I like that. And you got good movement amongst the hands. So right here you go below the chest. Okay. You can go right here below the chest. And right here he has like a joint in there. Uh, swivel, twist, whatever you want to call it. Rotation right below the chest. And he'll have that there. But he has a good ab crunch because of it. But that's because right here at the waist, amongst all this is blocking it. He has waist rotation, waist swivel. And you could see that. Figure's a little stiff, but moving pretty well due to the fact that it is a brand new figure. And it's a new mold, so I like it. He has good hip movement amongst the legs on this beautiful figure. Anderson Silva kick. Obviously that straight kick comes out super nice. Same as the other leg. Bruce Lee side kick right there. You can see that. Super nice. That's only fitting to say amongst with these figures. Because these figures are made to fight. Okay. So no upper thigh. Uh swivel or rotation that was that should be around here it's just one piece that goes and there's no rotation amongst the knee but you can see how they hit that bottom of that joint right there you can see this pin a little bit but they really hit that one really nice figure look at this double jointed knees folks 
Yeah, this figure's nice. Okay. And then you could go right here below the feet. Good feet movement. They go up really good. You can get them to move around. Part of my fingers. And, of course, toe bend. You can see that. Okay. All right, folks. So here's Night Wolf with all his attire on. Battle axes, bow, and bow and arrows. This is the way that it was able to link up to him. Very nice. I absolutely like the way that this figure came out. And I like the fact that they, what McFarlane did was they left this loose. Because right here in the back, I just kind of shoved it in there and it holds really good. This baby also brung a stand, um, which I forgot to mention. And you could see that right there. I left it in the package because this figure seems to be standing up pretty damn good on its own. So, um, yeah, I left it like that. I got plenty of DC and Mortal Kombat stands uh, loose throughout the collection. So, I think I'll probably end up putting them on one of those amongst the rest of his brothers and sisters. But, yeah, that's how he looks. This figure's very imposing. Like, like, just look at that. Oh, my God. Total photo op action figure. Absolutely love this thing. All right, folks. So you can see size wise around how he would look next to all the other Mortal Kombat figures, his brothers and sisters that are throughout. These aren't all my Mortal Kombat figures. I do have some that are put away, but that's how he would look amongst them. <laughs> So that's it for my character, Nightwolf. This thing was amazing. I got this guy right now for my Mortal Kombat um, 11 line for 2022. He's the leader for the bad boy of the year, of the Mortal Kombat figures, because I absolutely love what McFarland Toys and the people at McFarland did. They did a lot of hiding on joints. They did a, there's not very much reuse. It's just, an all brand new figure this thing's just nice so go out and pick yourself up one he retails right now for about $19.99 and there are online retailers throughout also you could check out Amazon and a few others and you should have no trouble finding the very brand new Nightwolf which is available now so please like share subscribe hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hits you could also follow us on instagram at mo's toys it's m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s mo's toys up on instagram and we are also kicking it up on tiktok so check us out there on tiktok if you're a tiktokaholic look for mo's toy room and you'll find us right there so hey folks subscribe today so that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way and from most harm to yours everyone ooh good night